everyone, I'm Sarah of Rich Textures Crochet and welcome. Today we're going to learn how to crochet the Meadows Shawl. You can see here in the photo in front of you as well, there are many photos on richtexturescrochet.com. This is my sample shawl that I've worked here in front of you. This is the top and then down into the bottom. This is an easy crochet shawl to work. I've worked it using 1600 yards of this five ply, 100% cotton uh, yarn by Panda Yarns. And in the, in the photos here, I've worked it in the color Wanderer. Today for the tutorial, I'm going to be using the color We Are Anything But Lost. So uh, you're going to need about 1,600 yards of this flat five ply sport weight yarn and uh, as well as a four millimeter crochet hook. A written copy of the pattern would also be helpful and it's for free on ridgetexturescrochet.com. There's links to the it these items in the description of this video. The finished shawl measures approximately 26 inches by 80 inches and I'll give you further instruction on how to change the length if you would like to later on. So thank you so much for joining me while you're here. I invite you to subscribe, take a look around. There are many other crochet shawl patterns under the crochet shawl playlist here on my channel that I'd love for you to try. Feel free to say hello down in the comments and I can't wait to see your finished product. Now our pattern today is worked in rows and it is being worked lengthwise. So we're going to start by working that long edge. So if you are working the pattern as I have done, uh, which uh, again it measures approximately 26 inches by 80 inches, you're going to start by making a slip knot and then by working a foundation chain. Your foundation chain will need to be 354 chains. Now the first row is a single crochet row. So if you'd like to start with a foundation single crochet row, you are welcome to do so and you'll need a total of 353 stitches. If you would like to change the size of your shawl, uh, today in the video I'm going to work a swatch. So just a small portion of it, you can. You'll need a beginning multiple of four stitches plus two for your foundation chain. So today I'm going to chain a total of 26. and 26. So once you have your foundation chain worked, either 354 stitches or the desired length, you're going to then into the second chain from your hook, work one single crochet, and then single crochet into each stitch all the way across. At the end of row one, you're going to chain three and turn your work. For row two, we're going to begin by working three more double crochet stitches all into the same stitch. So down at the bottom of our turning chain. Work three double crochets. You're then going to skip the next three stitches and into your next stitch, you're going to single crochet, chain three, and then work three more double crochets back into the same stitch. We're now going to repeat that all the way across. Skip the next three stitches 
into your next stitch, work a single crochet, chain three, and three more double crochet stitches back into the same stitch. Repeat that all the way across. Once you come across at the end of row two, you're simply going to single crochet into that final stitch. Chain three and turn your work. For row three, we're going to begin by working three double crochet stitches into this first stitch. Next, you're going to skip those three double crochets and into the next chain three space work one single crochet, chain three, and three double crochets all back into that same chain space. We're now going to repeat into the next chain space, work one single crochet, chain three, and three double crochets all back into that same chain three space. Repeat that all the way across. At the end of row three, we're going to simply single crochet into that final chain three space. For row four, chain five and turn your work. Next, into your chain three space, you're going to skip these three double crochets into the chain three space, work one single crochet stitch. You're then going to chain five and repeat into the next chain three space, work one single crochet. Repeat this all the way across. When you come to your final chain three space, you're going to chain two and then double crochet into that final space. This brings you to the end of your row four. For row five, chain one and turn your work. You're then going to work a single crochet into the first stitch chain five and single crochet into the next chain five space. Repeat that all the way across, chain five and single crochet into the next chain five space. Repeat until you come to your final chain five space. When you come to your final chain five space, you're going to chain five and then single crochet into the third chain of that starting chain. So count in one, two, three into that third chain, work one single crochet stitch and that brings you to the end of your row five. For row six, 
We're going to begin by chaining six. That counts as a double crochet and a chain three. Turn your work. We're then going to single crochet into the next chain five space. That's that first chain five space. Chain three and single crochet into the next chain five space. You're going to repeat that all the way across. Chain three, single crochet into the next chain five space. All the way across. When you come to your final space and your single crochet, You'll work a single crochet into that chain five space, then chain three, and double crochet into that final single crochet stitch. That brings you to the end of row six. For row seven, going to chain one and turn your work. You're then going to single crochet into the first stitch and then work three single crochets into the next chain three space. Single crochet into the next stitch and work three single crochets in the next chain three space. Repeat that all the way across. When you would come across to your final chain six space, you're going to work three single crochets into that final space. followed by one single crochet into the third chain. And that brings you to the end of row seven. Now this brings you to the end of the repeats for this pattern. So what you're going to do is you're now going to repeat rows two, three, four, five, six, and seven. So rows two, three, through to seven, uh, nine more times, okay? So you want to have a total of 10 of these spaces through here. So repeat it nine more times. And then you're going to want to add a little bit of edging, and the edging is very, very easy. You're simply going to repeat rows two and three, three more times. So your row two, begin with the chain three, turn your work, three double crochet stitches in that same stitch skip three single crochet chain three and three in the same stitch so that was your row two so it, once again repeat rows two through to seven nine more times then for your edging you're simply going to repeat rows two and three three more times and I'll show you just on mine it's going to give you sort of a thick edging here fasten off weave in your ends and that's all there is to making the meadow shawl so feel free go ahead and grab uh, that free pattern on, on richtexturescrochet.com uh, just so you can It'll help you keep track of those rows and uh, and that's it so thank you so much this pattern you may want to block it if desired and uh, and that's it so I can't wait to see all your finished meadow shawls don't forget to say hello down in the comments and I look forward to seeing you again next time until then happy crocheting bye mm -hmm.